Hello there. Do you ever feel weird or at least uncomfortable when you're looking at that little camera on your laptop and phone while participating on an online meeting or giving a speech online? Well, I think for most of us, yeah, that's pretty normal to feel uncomfortable. Most of us aren't used to being online like this. But with the circumstances in the world today, we're going to be doing a lot more online. So we should try to get used to it. So how can we be better at communicating online using, using our bodies, our voices and that? Well, it's very easy. I can tell you in three words how to get better at speaking online and also being more comfortable. And that is practice, practice, practice. It will take time, but if you work at it, you'll be much better at doing this online speaking stuff. Okay. Now today, what I want to show you is how to use Zoom all by yourself to practice. So let's open Zoom. Oh, oh by the way, you'll need to have a Zoom account. They're free. You can get a free one. And download the app to your computer or to your phone. So here we go. Open it up. Start the meeting. Now I will have to unmute because I have them set to automatically be muted when I start. Okay, now you can see my beautiful face. Uh, all right. Now, when you're working online like this, you have a very little area to communicate through. So be careful in how you use it. Use it wisely. Right? Now, one thing that I see a lot of people do that I don't think is very wise is they try. They just are a little part of the whole image that people see. Now, I don't think this is very good. You are the star attraction, not your books, not whatever's behind you. So leave a little space at the top, but you feel most of the, of the image of the camera. Okay. Now, as far as using your hands, I'd encourage you not to put them too close to the camera unless you want to pretend you're a giant. Okay? Keep them close to your body and do your gestures slower than normal because if you do them fast, they just become very blurry. So use them wisely but use them. Okay. Also, learn to use your head, like tilting back and forth, or your shock going back or forwards to acknowledge you're listening in closer. Right. And also your facial expressions and using those in a good way and your smiles and learning how to have good eye contact while you're speaking. Okay, Practice those things. And while you're practicing, I'd encourage you to do this. Record your sessions and then look at them to see how it looks from the audience's perspective. So before you start, just go down to record and start it. So I will do that and you can see how it works. Okay. Fellow Toastmasters and your guests, it's been an honor here to speak before you today. And as I close, I want to encourage all of you, everyone in the room, to help change the world one heart at a time with the power of love. Thank you very much. Okay, we're done. So I stopped the recording. In the upper right, you see it says the record file will be converted once the meeting ends. So let's end the meeting. Okay, now it'll convert it. And it'll, how long it takes depends on how long you speak. Okay, so let's take a look at it. All right, so that gives you an idea of things you can do online with Zoom to practice by yourself. Of course, you can get together with a one-on-one -on -one with another person or a few others and take turns practicing. But just get online and do it, and over time, you'll become better and more comfortable. So enjoy the journey of becoming a better online speaker. Have a good day.